Uh, welcome. Uh, this is a uh, CS uh, 5500, right? Uh, we're on the right place. Um, my name is uh, Jose Anunciado. And uh, my uh, phone number, uh, I, this, I'd, I'd rather use this phone number. Right? Uh, that's my personal number. Uh, please don't give it out. Um, but you know, feel free to text me or call me. If I if I can't answer, I'll I'll leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, uh, so so yeah so um, CS fifty five hundred is the uh, the website uh, software development. Um, uh, although, although the, the name of the, the, the uh, course is uh, software development, it's, it's more uh, geared towards um, software engineering uh, and the engineering that goes into uh, um, working in uh, large large projects, right? Real real projects out there, uh, and how much more difficult it is uh, to work in a large uh, team, right? That uh, it becomes a uh, um, quite a bit uh, different is to work all by yourself where you don't you don't have a, uh, anyone to answer uh, that uh, in, as opposed to working in a, in a team uh, where folks are, are reading your, your are reviewing your software that uh, you, you you form part of a much larger um, set of wheels that are turning and, uh, and and you have to adhere to cer to cer certain processes certain standards uh, and uh, uh, with with the intent of uh, of guaranteeing a, a a particular quality of software, okay, um, and uh, it is a you know working in the, in a, in a uh, in large project has its its uh, challenges. Uh, we are working with other folks. Folks uh, are humans for now, uh, and uh, and humans are uh, you know they they, they have uh, their biases. They uh, they have their own points of view. Uh, uh, they, they have. We all have our flaws. Uh, uh, we, we, uh, you know, English or whatever uh, human language is uh, inconsistent, uh, contradictory, and and, uh, and even though we might explain certain certain things that we all agree uh, today, we come back tomorrow and we, we we have different interpretations of what what happened of the facts that that happened the, the day before, uh, and and within this uh, this chaos of, of dealing with uh, so many moving parts. Uh, nevertheless, we, we want to be able to uh, guarantee some level of quality of software. Okay, uh, you know, working in large projects, it's uh, you know becomes uh, you know, several orders of magnitude much more difficult. Uh, and nevertheless, uh, uh, within the constraints of uh, of time and, and money and budget and uh, and and us working in complex uh, system, uh, we would like to look at the the various. Um, uh, techniques and, uh, and strategies uh, to deal with complex systems. Okay, and up to this point, uh, we haven't had a very good track record. Um, you know, uh, you know, only 20, 30 percent of uh, of, of uh, projects are considered to be successful. You know, uh, so and, and another 30 to 40 percent are so-so. You know, that uh, uh, need uh, quite a bit of rework. They have to come back later and fix something. Uh, and yeah, and then another 20, 30 percent are just complete failures, right? Uh, and, you know, lots of money that is just thrown out uh, that uh, you didn't get anything for that for that money, right? In years and of uh, of working on something and just thrown out out the window. Uh, so so uh, we would like to be able to increase our track record uh, at at improving uh, software uh, um, software quality software. Okay. Um, so so this is what the uh, uh, course uh, is about. Um, uh, there are two sections uh, that's uh, along with uh, uh, we're teaching along with uh, uh, Professor Michael uh, Wentrop, uh, and uh, we're going to try uh, making every effort to stay in uh, in sync. Um, uh, he he he. I think he has a couple of uh, I'm not sure what he teaches, but I think he has a couple of Mondays that uh, he uh, there's holidays. Uh, he might fall behind, uh, and then he you know he should catch up to us. Uh, so we don't, might need to uh, uh, um, you know, put breaks a, a little bit, um, and just just to make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, so bear with us as we as we make sure that uh, uh, that, that we're all in sync. Um, 
Oh, okay, no, he meets on Tuesday, so I think he should be okay. Uh, these are the uh, teaching assistants. Um, and uh, there's a Piazza. You should have all received uh, an invite uh, to Piazza. Everybody received a, an invite? Okay. Who didn't receive an invite? Okay. Right, so if you haven't uh, seen me at the break uh, or uh, at the end of the, of the class, and um, uh, I'll, I'll add you to the Piazza folks, to the Piazza uh, forum. Okay. Uh, there, there is an accompanying uh, textbook uh, listed uh, here. It's also uh, available uh, on Amazon, and if, if you look hard, you'll, well, not that hard, you, you might find a PDF format uh, out there. Um, okay. Uh, policies. Uh, we... Um, so uh, CSF uh, 5010, um, I'm not sure how much uh, uh, design you might have seen in uh, uh, 5010. Uh, uh, just just show, show of hands, who, who feels comfortable with using like UML cl uh, class diagrams and sequence diagrams and things like that? Uh, UML? Anyone? Uh, anybody taken the uh, uh, 5200? Uh, uh, so there you, you might have seen some, uh, some data modeling there as well, right? Uh, so well, here here we'll do quite a bit of uh, UML uh, data modeling and uh, re re uh, documenting uh, the, uh, the data models of, of, of a particular solution, uh, and, and introduce to several other uh, useful uh, diagrams, such as sequence diagrams, activity diagrams, use case diagrams uh, that are useful for documenting um, uh, 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 business rules and uh, and processes and whatnot. Um, additionally, we will be using the Java uh, programming language. Uh, how how's how's uh, your Java? Uh, any any um, any experts in the, the class of Java Java programming language? No, no experts. Uh, okay, so we'll we'll have an exam uh, uh, after the break. Okay, that uh, it's only for for measuring how how comfortable you feel with Java. All right, so don't leave uh, after the break. We'll we'll have the uh, we'll have the the, uh, the quiz. It's it's only you know twenty minute. Uh, it's it's not graded. Uh, we just want to uh, have a, um, a feedback from you. How, how comfortable are you with the uh, Java programming language? Okay, with, with things such as inheritance and overloading and overwriting uh, and things like that. Okay? Uh, if, you, if you're familiar with C++ and how inheritance works and, and overloading and overwriting, how that works in C++ is fairly similar uh, in, in Java. So you should feel comfortable there. Um, uh, what about uh, um, uh, how you constantly feel with uh, tools such as Git uh, for source control or, or similar tools? Uh, Git, everybody, from, everybody comfortable with Git? Okay, or say most of you? All right, great. Uh, nevertheless, there's, a, there's an assignment that walks you through some of the uh, uh, most more common uh, operations just to make sure we're all on the same page, that we're all starting from the same, from the same place. Um, uh, it's um, it's the the uh, attendance is is, is optional. Uh, although we strongly uh, suggest that you come, uh, we you know, from time to time I, I make make a question uh, on, um, on 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 a reading assignment, uh, and, uh, and and it's, I think it's what if, I think it's like five percent of the of the grade that that, that you answer uh, the, the the correct answer. Uh, so if you're here, if you're not here, it'll be really hard for you to answer uh, correctly. Uh, there's a um, there's a uh, five uh, assignments. Um, the uh, the first one's fairly fairly simple, so it's only four percent. Uh, but all the the other four assignments are uh, equally weighted at twenty five percent, and the the homework in, as total is is twenty five percent of the grade. Um, exams there's uh, two exams. There's a like a midterm and a final. Um, um, they're, they're usually they're written exams. Uh, and the cumulative, right? So you know, the midterm will be whatever we saw the first half of the semester, and the final will be the whole thing. Uh, but notice that the, most of the grade is is focused on the on the project, fifty percent on the project. We'll be working uh, on a project in teams of uh, four or five, uh, and, um, and and the idea is to replicate uh, to some extent uh, what you might uh, find uh, out there. In co-op or in a real-world industry environment, um, that, that where where you're going to have a, uh, the, the the source code is not going to belong to you individually. It'll belong to the team 
right? You have, you can have folks uh, having code reviews and um, and and uh, either rejecting or accepting and merging uh, into uh, into uh, into the source control, uh, making sure you that you create uh, feature branches when you're working on a particular uh, uh, on a particular feature, right? That somebody reviews your code. Uh, that you have tests uh, that, uh, that that verify the validity of your of your algorithm, right? That uh, when when it gets when it builds and automatically runs those tests, right? That um, that it, if it, if it if it passes the test, then it gets uh, uh, merged into into the, the main branch. It gets deployed, uh, runs some continuous integration tools, uh, some code coverage, some some uh, structural testing, right? And and um, and and automates the whole process of you know, starting from development uh, all the way down to uh, deployment. Right? That's some, something that you would typically find uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an industry, industry setting. Okay, uh, so so all these extra uh, extra moving parts makes software development that much more harder. Okay, and, and uh, it's just not you. Right, the code doesn't belong to you. Right, the code belongs to the team, belongs to your employer, and it will be here much longer than than you. Right, you'll leave, and your source code will will outlive you, right? Somebody will have to be, be responsible for your source code, right? And, uh, and just like uh, somebody accepts your source code, they're making themselves responsible for that piece of software, right? Uh, just like if somebody writes a piece of software and you accept it, you're making res yourself responsible for that piece of code, that's somebody else's code. Meaning you are willing that at some point in the future to maintain that code, right? And, and uh, so, so it, it, it behooves you to, to, uh, to make sure that you, look, you read the code. It says, you know, do I want to maintain this code, uh, you know, tomorrow or the day after or a month from now or next year, right? Uh, and if it, if it looks awful and you don't understand what it's doing, uh, perhaps uh, you should you should uh, try to understand the, the, the requirements that went into this, right? The, the thing because again, you can own this, right? Or, or some teammate is going to own this. Uh, so it's it's a it's a much different. Uh, Environment uh, again, working in teams, working for uh, in larger settings. Uh, uh, late work, uh, we've um, standardized it at, uh, that uh, um, uh, if you if, if you submit it after the pass uh, due date, uh, you'll be giving a, a, a grace period of forty eight hours, but at uh, at a cost of half the grade of whatever you got uh, you would would have, would have gotten right. It uh, you get half the, the credit. Uh, up to 48 hours after that, uh, no, no credit after that, okay? Uh, so please uh, make sure you submit on time. Uh, academic dishonesty, uh, you know, just, just, just make uh, every effort to make sure that uh, indeed your work is your own. Um, the TAs are very good at identifying uh, plagiarism. Uh, they've, they've, they've taken this uh, several times. They've been TAs for a while, perhaps. Uh, they, they know what they're peers have done in the past and what they're before that as well. So they're pretty good at, at looking at, at uh, says, hey, this looks very similar to what you know, team XYZ worked on uh, in the fall, okay? Uh, so please uh, make every effort that your work is your own. Um, if, you, you know, if you find a snippet of code here and there on Stack Overflow, that's fine. Uh, you know, just, just make sure you, you, uh, you, know, you, you, uh, you give the, uh, 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 you know the source of where you got it from. That it's not you're not you're not trying to uh, show this as your own. That's fine. You know from snippets here and there, uh, but certainly not you know wholesale copy of uh, of source code, especially from your peers. Um, it's it's meant for you to work on on, on your own. Okay. Um, uh, academic design integrity. Uh, there's a, certainly there's a policy, academic integrity policy for the university. I, I encourage you to read, uh, and, uh, and and please don't don't put me in the awkward position of having to report you. Okay, it's very very awkward. I've been there. I hate it. Uh, don't do that to me, please. Um, Title Nine student. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? Okay. Uh, here's the uh, uh, the schedule. We are at the uh, the first uh, the first week. Um, today is going to be mostly uh, inter introductory uh, for introduction to the class and some of the uh, some of the terminology, some of the architectures, some of the uh, the overall problems uh, of dealing with large pieces of software, large large uh, large projects, 
what what um, what are the cha typical challenges? Uh, what are the typical life cycle of of, uh, of software or the software life si um, software development life cycle or SDLC? Um, also, some uh, brief overview of Git, uh, just to make sure we're all on the same page. If you've if you've been using Git, um, you 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 you. you you should have noticed that uh, there's many ways of doing the same exact thing, okay? Uh, and uh, we ask you to follow our recommendations, okay? Uh, it's, it's, you know, we are going to be the clients. Uh, Mr. Uh, Professor Weintraub and myself are going to be clients. Uh, and you're working for us, right? And you have to adhere to whatever uh, your, your employer says, right? So whatever, um, whatever uh, formats uh, or best practices or, or corporate uh, corporate policies, you need to adhere to those, right? Uh, so uh, please go over some, some of the, um, uh, this is a fairly extensive uh, coverage on the on how to do things on Git. Uh, I'm, I'm only going to go through some of it, uh, but please go over and it, it shows uh, all sorts of uh, shortcuts on how to do certain things. Please follow those, uh, those, uh, the, those scripts, okay? All right? Um, and and uh, the, the first assignment will be uh, you know, to do a very, very simple uh, piece of software that, you know, just given a, uh, a two numbers, list those two numbers, right? It lists, lists all the numbers between two, uh, between two, uh, uh, between a range, right? Then, then only the odd ones, and then the, and then, and then the even ones. And it's written in such a way that it's going gonna, it's gonna to force, it's going to create a uh, merge conflict, okay? It's on purpose, it's going to cause a merge conflict, okay? Uh, and, and so, it, and, and what, well, that's one of the more uh, um, uh, challenging things. You know, when you're working on teams, is that it, that you uh, are you might be working on source that might be shared amongst multiple team members, right? Uh, and you there might be conflicts where you submit something and somebody else submits something, and it turns out that it's the same lines of code, right? And you need to decide: is it yours or mine, or maybe some merge of both of them, right? Uh, so, so the assignment walks you through uh, asking you to do that, right? And we'll go over it uh, together in class today. Um, uh, we'll also um, uh, talk about uh, the, in general, what the software development life cycle is. Uh, next, uh, the, 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 the assignment will we'll go out today, and it's, it'll be due on the 19th. Uh, also, I believe most of you submitted the CCS ID. But did, did anybody not submit the CSID? If you, if you haven't, please uh, submit that. That's uh, used for creating uh, Git repositories for you, right, for the, 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 uh, for the school. Uh, and, uh, and you'll be using that throughout the semester uh, to submit all your assignments. All the assignments will be submitted uh, by uh, 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 committing and pushing it to uh, Git. Okay? We're only going to be using a Blackboard uh, to um, to communicate or, or to um, uh, 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 give you a grade on a particular assignment, right? Uh, but most of it, most, most of our communication will be uh, through Piazza uh, and, and submissions through through Git. Okay. Um, right. So um, right. So, so so today will be introductory and SDLC. Uh, next week uh, we're going to cover. Um, uh, design principles. Uh, we're first gonna uh, we're gonna talk about some of the best practices, uh, some some of the design patterns, uh, some uh, some uh, best ways of doing certain things. Um, the um, uh, design patterns uh, are a, um, a a body of knowledge that ha that accumulates uh, in a particular industry. Uh, all industries have design patterns, right? Mechanical engineering, chemi chem chemistry, uh, civil engineering. They all have collected a, a long their long history, uh, uh, certain ways that just works, right? And they have, and they, and they, and they document these things on, uh, you know, having worked on so many projects, uh, they find patterns, you know, th ways of doing things that just work, and different ways of things that don't work, right? And and uh, and they're documented and referred to in general as design patterns, okay? And some design patterns are really really simple. Uh, some design patterns are overarching, you know, over, you know, like architectural type patterns. Okay, um, and uh, and so we'll, we're going to be uh, discussing uh, several of these design patterns uh, and best practices. Uh, the, in, on the, on the, uh, and there will be several assignments uh, that will ask you 
uh, to, to exercise uh, and, and get familiar with multiple design patterns, best practices on how to write code uh, correctly, okay? Um, and how to not write code. There's all this patterns, design patterns, there's anti-patterns, right? How not to do things, right? That have been, uh, over the years, identified as, you know, ways that um, you shouldn't do things. Um, we'll also introduce the project. Uh, again, there's, there's going to be um, a teams of four or, or five, depending on uh, how, it, it, how it splits up and how many, you, how many of you there are. Um, and the project will be uh, to uh, create uh, an application that uh, can uh, detect plagiarism. Okay? Uh, so lest we use plagiarism on, on any of your homeworks, and uh, we'll try them out, see if uh, you know, given, given a piece of uh, a source uh, and compare it to some other piece of source uh, and see if we can detect um, you know, how, how unique uh, it, it, the piece of so uh, software is. Uh, so you'll be you'll be creating these pieces of software, uh, and uh, the uh, professor uh, Weintraub and myself are, are going to be the clients. Okay, uh, and uh, throughout the semester, um, you, uh, you know, we, we will um, we will be playing the role of the client, right? And you'll be asking, we'll be we'll be reading through the uh, requirements, uh, and we'll, we're going to go through the various phases of designing a piece of software. Uh, first, there'll be uh, the requirements elicitation, right? Well, you know, what are the requirements? We will formally uh, document them uh, using use cases. Um, uh, uh, we'll create prototypes and, and uh, wireframes and um, class diagrams, sequence diagrams, right? Uh, and then we'll, we'll go through uh, creating the actual data model um, through the various, various steps of design, okay? Uh, and, uh, and, and um, also some of the best practices of designing uh, the uh, user experience uh, and, uh, and making, do, doing uh, uh, usability tests, um, so design patterns. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll use various UML uh, diagrams to, uh, to, to document. Um, then, then we'll also spend a couple of weeks talking about testing in general, right, and, and the test-driven uh, test design, right, the, the notion that uh, that um, uh, uh, um, understanding the uh, uh, creating tests uh, as a fundamental uh, part of the software design uh, cycle, uh, software development life cycle, right? That it's a it's a fundamental way of understanding the requirements. Right? That that uh, the test is one one representation of the requirements. Right? If you understand the requirements, then you should be able to write tests based on those requirements. Right? It's a it's a, it's a mechanism uh, that that uh, if you can't write a test for a particular requirement, then perhaps the requirement is not a good requirement. There's, there's no way of validating whether that requirement has been achieved or hasn't been achieved, right? It's a, it's a mechanism of uh, evaluating whether a requirement is a good requirement, right? It, it might even discover new requirements that were not discovered in an earlier phase, right? Uh, and, and elicits uh, a discussion between the developers and the, and the designers and the, and the business uh, that are driving this, right? So we'll talk about uh, uh, two uh, types of um, of testing. Uh, one is uh, functional testing. You know, doing uh, doing tests as a black box, right? Meaning uh, that uh, uh, this this, uh, this this piece of software, not not knowing what's in it, right, should behave in a certain way. That if I give it certain inputs, it should give me certain outputs, right? Uh, and uh, and out of all possible inputs that I could give it. Uh, I need to then, there's no there's no way that I could possibly think of all the inputs, right? Uh, we need to be able to uh, identify which inputs are of interest, right? And and, and, and also you know to make sure that I am I'm, I'm covering uh, the the all possible behaviors that that black box might have, right? That that it might give me the the outputs that I might I might expect. Um, so yeah, so first we'll talk about a, a functional testing. Uh, and uh, and then the following week we'll talk about structural testing, right? Uh, if you if, if so, the first one is a black box, meaning I don't know what's in it. Uh, the second one is let's open up what's in it, right? Let's actually, look at the source code in there, right? Uh, and uh, you know what kind of test could I run to make sure that every single line of code is is a uh, uh, it's a legitimate piece of source uh, uh, of, um, of, of, uh, of of the source code. I'm, I'm I'm testing every single line. It could be that. 
uh, I, I, my, my piece of software has lots of ifs and else's and nested, nested logic, and lots, lots of branching, right? That, uh, that um, uh, my functional testing, all the possible inputs that I thought of, are actually not exercising every single line uh, of code in my software, right? That's, that it's, it goes one branch and it follows another branch, but there's somehow some dead code that never gets executed, right? And so somehow my inputs some, uh, are not uh, causing uh, or exercising uh, a particular flow of the of the source code, right? Uh, so why is that source code even there, right? Should it should just not be there? Is it is it not a valid um, um, set of inputs, right? That was, uh, did I did I miss a certain set of inputs? Right, or is that piece of software not even useful? Right, should I remove it? Right, so uh, so structural testing allows us to you're know, looking at the source code. Uh, you know, what kind of test should we should we uh, write to make sure that we are doing um, uh, my my source has complete coverage, right, or a particular level of coverage, right, and especially if if you have a source that you have it, uh, that are, is iterative or recursive, right, and um, and it's kind of calling itself. And in some some iterations might fall, follow certain branches, and some iterations might follow some other branches. What kind of test might, might I use uh, to make sure that I am uh, I am uh, executing uh, and exercising all the soft all, all my source? Um, uh, then, then we'll talk about certain uh, uh, testing uh, strategies. A little bit more of 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 of, uh, of the same. Uh, so here, towards the middle of the uh, of the course, we'll have our first exam. Right, which will cover uh, the first five or six weeks uh, of material. Um, I believe, I don't remember if it's an open or closed book. Anyway, there's uh, the spring break after that. Uh, the, uh, the, the, second, the second half, uh, the second half is, is, is um, it's much more uh, focused on, on working on the project. Right, it's heavy on the project. Uh, some of the work uh, will will uh, will uh, happen here in class, where we're going to have meetings. The teams will meet. Uh, we'll have code reviews. Uh, we'll have um, a swap and have uh, other team teams take your source code right and run tests against them, right? Or do some code reviews. And some and some some of the, some other team members will be reviewing your code, right? And and seeing if they if they can find. Something and evaluating your source code. So we'll we'll do we'll do some swap uh, between uh, materials of different teams. Uh, we'll 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 talk we'll talk about refactoring. Uh, it's a very it's very common, uh, especially in uh, iterative uh, methodologies where requirements are changing all the time. And and uh, and, uh, and and we we welcome or, or we we, are, we design our process uh, around the capability of changing requirements, right? Uh, where uh, we, we find that we need to uh, change our, 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 our signatures, we, we have to change our higher, uh, our, our, uh, uh, we, we have to change our classes, move things around, uh, and um, uh, or improve our source code uh, by uh, by refactoring. Right. And, uh, today, it, uh, uh, may, uh, most of the mature languages, uh, the IDE support uh, all sorts of uh, techniques for refactoring your source code. Okay, um, and, and so 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 you know Java and .NET and uh, all the all the .NET languages, uh, and increasingly uh, some of the client side languages like JavaScript and TypeScript uh, are, are are having even more support uh, uh, in the in, in newer uh, IDEs. So we'll we'll talk about uh, some of the techniques uh, and types uh, of refactoring, also uh, debugging. Um, the, the the last couple of weeks are going to be focused on you just working on the on the project. And we'll we'll do lots of code reviews uh, and evaluating the quality of your of your source source code as you uh, work towards completing uh, the, the the project. Okay. All right. Oh, and then and then finally the. Um, Did you say? Huh. I thought there was a final here. Maybe not. Um, all right. Any questions so far?
And notice that uh, all the all the presentations are available as links, right? So as PDFs, right? So um, so this is the 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 uh, the, the slide uh, deck that we're going to be using. Uh, and I see that the dates are wrong. It says fall seven seventeen. Um, we'll have to change that. All right. 